Ilanga 2, a solar-powered car built by University of Johannesburg students, has started its epic journey across three countries in southern Africa. The 2015 African Solar is an initiative to advance the green agenda amid concerns over the continued dependence on fossil fuels. The Ilanga 2 will drive from Northern Cape to Namibia and Botswana in just 12 days. After working through the night, the UJ Energy Movement students were up at the crack of dawn. This is the second solar-powered car designed by engineering students from this university to showcase what harnessing the power of the sun can do for this country. And after everything has been checked, the car was rolled to the solar lab for the installing of solar panels. There was excitement tinged with a bit of nervousness. So it's a very high-tech vehicle, so there's always niggles and things to sort out on the road. Uh, we look like we've got some good weather, but since it's winter, we won't have as much energy available as we usually do, so we're adjusting the race strategy for that. Nicholas Harvey has been working on the project for months. He was the first to test drive the Ilanga. And when he put foot to the solar pedal, it was a question of move over Lewis Hamilton. It's a yeah, fantastic feeling to finally have the car finished and we can actually start driving it around. It's been a tough few weeks to actually put it together. It's always been a last push at the end to, to finish everything off. But yeah, we're looking forward to traveling through Africa. For the UJ Energy Movement, it was a proud moment. Along their 12-day journey, these students will be focusing on community awareness and the significance of green technologies and engineering studies. Since hosting COP17 in 2011, there's been a big drive in South Africa to promote green technologies. And engineering students such as these ones hope that come COP21 in December in Paris, policymakers will take more wise decisions to ensure that we reduce our carbon footprint. Janjicha Uke, SABC News, University of Johannesburg.